Hey everybody, I want to talk today about the Mandela Effect again. This is something that I think is important. I think the media has convinced the vast majority of humanity that somehow our observations are not valid. When Darwin went to the Galapagos and came up with his theory of evolution, when Mendel studied the pea plants and came up with his theory of inheritance, uh, genetics basically, Galileo looked through the telescope. These were all just observations and we are all capable of doing the same thing. So I want to share some of my observations on the Mandela Effect that are really kind of weird and disjointed and make no sense to me. And I want to share them in the hope that other people will share some of their experiences. And maybe these experiences will make more sense if we have a broader context, more people. I'm doing this video because um, I work as an x-ray tech. I saw a patient yesterday and I just knew heart field style that um, I should talk to her about the Mandela effect. And I did. And she noticed the same thing that I had noticed about Looney Tunes. She was like, what? It's not T-O-O-N-S? I'm like, no, and apparently it never was. And it, she was very confused, just as confused as me. You know, that was, that was the Mandela effect that I experienced totally on my own. It, was, it had nothing to do with the internet. I was just, when um, my son was two, I was trying to look up DVDs and I typed it in Google and nothing came up, which I think is bizarre. It didn't even come up with an alternative suggestion. Did, like, did you mean Looney Tunes, T-U-N-E-S? It just said, nope, I got nothing. Which I think is really weird because I feel like if you just smash your hand on the keyboard and hit enter, Google will come up with something. So I have some weirdness around the Looney Tunes thing. It was probably when I was six or seven years old. And at the time, I remember thinking, if the show is Merry Melodies, why is it not T-U-N-E-S? Which it is now. Um, I also have a memory of being at the book fair. And just probably a week previously, me and several other classmates were debating whether it was pronounced Berenstein or Berenstein. And I noticed, hey, it's Berenstein. And I told other people about it and they just, they looked at me like I was crazy. No one would even talk to me. They just gave me this like weird like I, I don't know like death glare and I just gave up on it and never really thought about it again until recently um, also around the same time I had a bizarre flash of like a show that I was into the legend of Korra it was really weird just this one little snippet and when I saw the show decades later, I'm like, hey, I remember this. So I think there's some kind of weird time connection, like these times are all connected or something. And I just wanted to do this video to encourage more people to start talking about this, even if it's kind of bizarre and you feel like it makes no sense. I feel like we need to start talking about it because the phenomena is real. What kind of world would we live in if Darwin or Mendel or Galileo just decided that, well, you know, who am I to just record my observations? You know, we'd be living back in the dark ages. So we need to talk about this. And I want everyone else to share their experiences, too. 
So yeah, it's, it's Looney Tunes. I mean, even if the naysayers are right, and we're all just having false memories, wouldn't that phenomena in itself be something worth investigating? We're all remembering it wrong, and we're remembering it wrong the same way? That's bizarre. I don't think that that's the case. I think this is evidence that we live in some kind of collective dream or something like that. But anyway, tell me what you guys think. You know, share your stories too. I, I'm sure I'm not the only weirdo out there. And if you think that you can talk to somebody about this or that you should tell people about it, maybe you should. And if they don't like it, Oh well. Hey, just thought of some other things I wanted to add on my uh, thoughts on the Mandela Effect and why we should be sharing it. Um, I mentioned the show Cora. I think it's worth noting that whatever that thing was that happened when I was a kid, the part of the show that I saw, um, the character Cora was in the spirit world and she turned from a grown-up back into a little girl. Since I was a little boy at the time and I'm a grown-up now, I feel like that's noteworthy. Um, I also wanted to talk about the Thinker statue, because around the same time that all this was happening, um, I remember classmates talking about, wait, I thought that he had his hand like this, and for me it's always been like this. But, in light of my personal weirdness, you know, and that memory of classmates talking about it being like this, even though that's not an effect for me, um, there's, there's something going on there. So, that's why um, we should talk about this. Um, if this is one of the first Mandela Effect videos you've seen, definitely go check out Unbiased on the Fence. Um, Spirit Walker, Matt Ard, and Sean Indigo. Those are all fantastic Mandela Effect channels. Anyway, I just wanted to add that.